Hi, and now we are going to do the part two, I guess. I guess you could call it a part two. It's the follow-up to the Nexus 8000 review that you probably already just watched. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. What's wrong with you? Gosh. Anyway, jokes aside, now we're going to go ahead and go into the Bauer speed plates. Wow, you can really see the indentation of all the uh, rivets. That's pretty crazy. All right, so the Bauer speed plate uh, came out as a way of Bauer being able to help players fight against any type of foot fatigue, any type of pain, any pressure points from wearing skates. Because when you get a skate, a lot of times it's pretty flat-footed. A lot of us don't have the same flat foot. A lot of us have weird arches, weird widths, tiny heels, bigger heels. So it just, you know, a lot of skates are not going to fit you correctly. When you were wearing normal footbeds like Superfeet or Sidus, Cetus, however it's pronounced from Graf, what those do is they, they give you the arch support, they give you a little bit of heel support by trying to lock it in a little bit, providing some sort of a cup. Um, but a lot of them don't do the job. Now, this is where Bauer came in with the speed plate because it is a thermal moldable. That's right, you can stick these in your oven, not your oven, don't stick them in your oven if you don't know what you're doing. I've seen plenty of hilarious pictures of skates, uh, hockey gloves, goalie catchers that were baked in their own ovens uh, at home and they didn't know what they were doing and alas it was hilarious but take them to uh you know your local shop your local rink and they have a i'm pretty sure they have a skate oven stick them in there for about one to two minutes until these get clear and then you can go ahead and fold them basically like this sock that belongs to my child that's how moldable these are. Now, right now, it is pretty stiff. It has some give for upward, but I'm not really needing it upward. I'm needing it because I'm pressing down against the skate, and this is providing the support. See how high my arch is? That's, that's a lot of support right there. Um, so the purpose of this is to be able to take your foot, mold to your foot, so... In my skates, like I said, I don't bake my skates. I stuck this in the oven, got it nice and pliable, slipped it into my skate, and then put my foot inside the skate where it's super warm and tightened up my skates and stood up. It takes a couple of seconds and then it goes right back to nice and cool. And of course, by then it's already sealed nicely to your foot. Don't take off the skate until after this is fully cooled. If it's still warm, it's going to go limp. <laughs> it's going to go limp uh, away from the, you know, what your foot is like. So wear these until you no longer feel the warmth and uh, then, then you can feel free to take them off. So the wonderful part about this is it offers a lot of support. Um, when I got the skates originally, the Bauer rep told me, don't use the speed plates yet. I want you to use the skates with just the regular footbed, footbed that came with it. So it, the footbed that comes with it is about as thin as this little envelope right here. So actually, no, that's still too thick. So it's about as thin as this paper. It sucked. It hurt like hell. Uh, my feet were in their own personal hell for the first month and a half of me wearing the skates. However, since I like torturing myself, I still went ahead and did it. And I, I went ahead and just, you know, plowed through it until the guy said, okay, how do the skates feel with just the regular footbed? And I just about said, it hurts so much. But then he told me, all right, go ahead and bake the speed plates, throw them in there like I showed you during the demo, and then have at it. I went and baked them. I put the skates on, got on the ice immediately while they were cooling down, still in my foot, just, you know, just the, 
just the plate, not the skate. Again, I don't bake my skates. Oh man, it felt like home. It felt like I was wearing a glove that was not just supportive to my feet, but it felt like I was wearing a glove that was just comforting. It made the skates feel like they were custom. It's as custom as you can get without going custom with the foot mold like you do with uh, Scott Van Horn skates or you do with uh, whatever other skates that you can get molded. So it was pretty damn amazing. Um, and it went like that for about six or seven months. Now, I've had these for a year. I didn't use them for about two months. So I've had I've had these in circulation rotation of being used for a good ten months. It is now February 2016, and I got, I put these in about uh, February or March, either one of the two. Um, now, so as far as performance, these really, really accent the skates. It makes everything feel like home. It makes it feel like you're completely customized. Hi. Are you singing? Oh, no. So it made these feel like they, they made my foot just feel like it was in a custom skate. It was custom fitted. I, I had no issues. All the pain that I've ever had with all my skates, with any inserts that I used, my arches right here are extremely in pain. With these speed plates, that was immediately gone. Instantly gone. It felt like I was wearing a tennis shoe. When I take off my skates sometimes, my foot actually hurts really bad. What you're hearing is my son roaring because he's watching a show about dinosaurs. So... It made my feet feel really bad. Um, taking these off did not feel bad at all. I was able to just put my shoes on, go on about my business, go home, go anywhere else that I wanted to go. It was fantastic. So as far as the effectiveness of creating a more comfortable fit and feel to a skate, I would give these a 5 out of 5. Just because it really made it feel like home. Um, what it does is it creates more contact with your foot all along here, including the heel. Look at how big the heel cup is. Now, mine's kind of deforming a little bit because, well, it needs to be heated up again. Um, and I'll touch up into that in, in a minute. Uh, so what it does is it really hugs the foot, really hugs the heel, really hugs against, you know, everything on the foot, especially the arch. And... It allows you to have more contact with the skate, so when you're standing, when you're skating, it feels like you're truly flat-footed without being forcibly flat-footed, which causes pain. Uh, when that happens, it allows for a more comfortable fit, less pain on the feet, and lets you be more productive without you know, going back to the bench after a good hard shift or after doing drills and just being completely miserable. That's the best part about that. I mean, what can make me less, you know, any more happier than that? Um, because it's a little bit flexible, it allows for a good recovery. When you use the skate, they do have a little bit of flexibility, believe it or not, even though they're stiff as crap. Um, and it allows you to just kind of bounce back. So when it gives the bounce back, it's what, you know, a lot of manufacturers say. It gives you the ability to be, have more spring in your step, be able to jump back into the plate, jump back into your stride a lot harder, a lot faster. Um, I can say that because of the comfort level, it did offer me the ability to be able to take off, stop, turn, you know, pivot hard without being able to feel the discomfort on my feet to where I end up remembering the pain later on in the game when I try to do it. I'm like, no, 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 no. That hurts too much. It took away the ability to no longer feel that pain. It was amazing. Now, there's a problem with these. There have been some people that have been breaking them. Some people have broken them straight down the middle. And I've seen a lot of them where it breaks right down this little seam right here that allows for that to fold up. It could be a bad batch. 
I don't know. Mine have not broken. I put mine through hell. I've baked them about five times already just to kind of see if there's any degradation from the baking. So far there is not. However, it is starting to get an indentation of my rivets on the footbed. That also happens normally with regular footbeds that you buy elsewhere as well. So that I'll forgive them for that. Um, you do still have to bake them again later on. Some people I've seen do it every two months. Um, I had to do it every f four months. Uh, the reason I've done it every four months for comfort is because they do kind of start to flatten out like anything when you are putting the pressure of the human body, the weight of it starts flattening out. You start noticing it when your feet start feeling like a regular footbed is under them. When you start getting the foot pain again, when you start getting the heel, when you start getting the arches, it's time to take these out, heat up the uh, oven at the rink, throw them in there, two minutes, put them back on, get her going, you're good for another couple of months and you're back to life again. So the reusability for me to be able to use these with the Bauer skates, I tried them on my Graf skates, I let a guy borrow them in his CCM skates. Perfect. Still able to do the job a year later of owning them, 10 months worth of use myself and a couple of guys who got to try them out for a game or two and it's still getting the job done. So as far as durability, on mine, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. Um, but because there are people that are showing that some are broken, um, the jury's still out for that. There are some that break. There are some that don't. So it's kind of kind of a hit or miss as far as that. I'm not going to throw them under the bus because of it. Would I recommend the speed plate? Absolutely. Um, if you have foot issues, if you have any type of issue with your feet, the speed plate, I believe, in any skate that you're in, it's worth the $50. Yes, I said $50. I've seen the prices of some of these go for $50. And, I mean, come on. The graph ones are like 40 bucks. The, sh the uh, super feet are $45. So it's pretty competitive at 50 bucks. And if you probably have a coupon for Hockey Monkey, you could probably get a discount on it too or may maybe discount the shipping. I don't know. If you live close to Hockey Monkey, hey, I hate you out of jealousy, but lucky you. You're able to pick these up once they start carrying them. They haven't hit the market yet from what I'm aware. They should be hitting the market here pretty soon. You can get them when you buy a new pair of skates, especially with the APX. And I believe with the one ends and the other couple of one whatevers. Um, so... You know, if you do get them, don't write them off. Give them a chance. Uh, I think it'll really make a difference in your stride. I think it'll really make a difference in your comfort of being able to skate. A lot of people will say, well, I'm comfortable in the current footbeds. Well, give these a try anyway. You might actually be more comfortable. It's almost like wearing a slipper, a nice, hard, shelled slipper. But, hey, it's a slipper nonetheless. As far as protection, I'm not going to I'm not going to um, go into that because there's no protection to these. It, it's a footbed. It uh, keeps your feet from yeah. So, no protection. Yay! Like I said, I do recommend it to you guys. Um, and you know, make sure you treat them like regular footbeds. Pull them out. Let them dry. Make sure you wash them. They're very easy to wash. You literally just run some soap and some water on the little cloth contact area and you're good to go once again. You know, do that at least once a month so you don't get that stank. So as far as the footbeds, uh, I have been pretty happy with them lately. I do need to rebake them again, so it's making me unhappy, but that's just because that's the product. Any product, I mean, my footbeds... Uh, they're they're gonna need replacing no matter what. Um, you know we all tend to wear them out, especially if I if you play as much as I normally do. I play a couple times a week, and right now I've been playing goalie like crazy. So I've been thinking of throwing these in my goalie skates and giving them a whirl there. So Bauer speed plate, give it a four out of five overall. 
because there have been some breakages with other ones and you know the jury's still out for that however as far as i'm concerned i love them i think they're great i recommend them if they break for you check the warranty it could be covered under warranty uh i hope they don't break for you as they haven't broken for me so thanks for watching if you have any questions down there somewhere somewhere in there in that empty box you know use the word stuff and type them in and you know make cohesive sentences and make sure you put a question mark I'll reply I always reply subscribe share the video share it to your mom your sister your dad your cousin your cousin over in another country or back east thanks for watching I hope you had a good laugh I hope you learned something and uh, if you didn't learn something read a book